Hi, Steve Bannister here with Good Karma Coffee. I thought I'd do a quick video to talk to some folks who, who are interested in exploring specialty coffee, specifically single origin coffee. Now, single origin means that the coffee comes from one country, whereas blended coffee is coffee that uh, could come from multiple countries, anywhere three, four, five different countries. So let me just show you what I have a little look right here. I've got uh, just a little collection of raw beans. Over here, I have my Ethiopian Guji. Right, it's too bad you can't smell it. It's a beautiful, nutty smell. Right here is a Colombian, Sierra Nevada. By the way, uh, Guji is in Sierra Nevada. That's basically the area or the region. Uh, it goes on and on, and you can drill down further. It's almost like uh, country, city, province, and so on. And uh, over here, finally, I've got uh, some Sumatra. You can see that looks quite a little different. These two are wet process. In other words, uh, that's how they will get the seed or the bean or the seed of the cherry out from the cherry. And this one is wet hulled. So it's a it's very similar wet process, but it's a little quicker. This, was, this would take uh, days or weeks and this would take probably months. So you're used to just buying your coffee on the run, but you're a little curious maybe about getting into uh, specialty coffee and, and just uh, investigating, maybe tasting different coffees. Well, that really sort of, it depends on your, your palate as to where you might want to go. Let me just start over here with the Ethiopian. Ethiopian coffees, uh, especially all African coffees, have a real bright flavor to them. And because of that, they're usually roasted on the lighter side. A lot of people who enjoy Ethiopian coffees or African coffees would probably like to have them without even any milk or, I know, milk or cream or sugar. Some of you are, are thinking, are you crazy? But the flavor of the coffee really comes through when it's drunk, when you drink it black. Two countries that I would definitely recommend in Kenya, I was about to say Kenya because that's the other country, definitely recommend in Africa is Ethiopia and Kenya. And Kenya. Kenyans are supposed to be even, uh, believe it or not, I know it sounds weird, but fruitier. Now, when you think of it, maybe it doesn't sound as weird because coffee is the seed of a cherry. So all this happens when it's roasted lighter. You have more acidity in a good way. It's a brighter flavor. That's with your African coffees. So if you're thinking for something like that, you're a little adventurous, I would say venture out into Ethiopia or Kenya. Okay. Now, in the middle of the road, I have a Colombian. Now, Colombian is probably the top choice I would have for any any coffee if you're looking for a medium roast in Central or South America. It has a smooth body, it has a nice acidity, and there's all different types you can get. This one particularly came from the Sierra uh, Nevada region. Colombia does an amazing job with their coffee growing. So it's smooth body, a little bit of a little bit of brightness. But uh, just like you would say, these, if this roasted medium is a great go-to cup of coffee. So Colombia, now, oh, I forgot to mention, if you wanted just a little, maybe a little brightness and acidity, I'd say Guatemala. So Colombian or Guatemala if you like the medium roast. Finally over here, I have a Sumatra. Now Sumatra is a part of the country of Indonesia. These are fabulous for espresso or anytime you want a darker roast. A full body, very little acidity, but lots of body. Believe it or not, the acidity is a flavor. Body is not a flavor. It's just sort of a mouthfeel. This also has a lot of aroma to it, right? This is what people get hooked on from a traditional coffee sense way back 50s, 60s, 70s, before there was such thing as specialty coffee. I think it started in the 70s with the, with the Starbucks. So yeah, so this is roasted dark. It's going to give you a lot of full body and it goes really nice with milk or cream. So you really get the taste of the milk and cream with it. You don't necessarily taste the bean. You smell the aroma and you have the body. So quite a difference over here, depending on what you want to do. So those are three choices. Just to recap, if you're looking for a light flavor and you may even want to try coffee black to try to get some different notes in it, I'd suggest Ethiopia or Kenya, lighter roasted. If you're looking for just a middle of the road, something with a little body, something with a little bit of acidity, Colombian is definitely the way to go, you can't go wrong. And a little brighterness if in your cup, if you like that, try Guatemalan, those are the two. 
finally, if you want your dark roasted heavy bodied something for espresso, I'd say uh, Sumatra or I, I forgot to mention even Indian monsoon or anything, any other region in Indonesia, those are definitely a go to uh, go to cups. Now, these are the special, these are single origin, whereas it's just one country as opposed to blends, multiple countries. Hope that helps a bit. Uh, that's it for now, and I'll talk to you later on. Thanks.